Hey Aries, welcome to Earth's Fail. I'm going to do a quick reading to see why a certain somebody would be coming into your life, okay? So, and this can be anybody. It doesn't have to be love related at all, okay? We just want to see what their intentions are, you know, who's coming in and why, all that good stuff. Okay, so, what is this person's intentions? Something? Okay. All right. So, what are their intentions? You have the Nine of Swords. Okay. Should you trust this person, Aries? And the Ace of Pentacles. Will a friendship or relationship be beneficial? Five of Cups. We'll clarify. All right. Overall advice on the situation or on this person or why this person is even coming in. The Nine of Wands. Okay. So, let's take a gander. All right, so I feel like your energy, Aries, is one. Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we have that's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be this person could be an Earth sign, or you could have Earth in your chart. But that's you know just really focusing on your your money, focusing on your coin. Your family, you know, being loving, caring, most of you or some of you could be mothers, fathers, um, but just, you know, the home life and focusing on your work, your job, your career. All right, so why, what is this person's intentions? We have the Nine of Swords. So let's see what that's about. The Nine of Swords says so anxiety, sleepless nights, you know. They can't sleep. So this person, I feel, Aries, thinks about you a lot. They worry about you, I'm hearing. They worry about you. And you can always reverse the role. And this is a general reading, so it can and will not resonate with every Aries out there, okay? You can also check your um, other placements if this doesn't resonate with you. So this person is in their head about you. I mean, they're having sleepless nights, anxiety, you know, worries, maybe even some depression, okay? And it almost feels like this person is haunted or something is haunting this person. So, I kind of feel like this is someone that you have dealt with before, Aries, okay? Or you're dealing with them now. So what is this Nine of Swords for their intentions? The Nine of Swords, the Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. So this is someone that has possibly, possibly isolated themselves from you, okay? They're in their head. And, you know, the Hermit, they go within to search, you know, for answers, to gain knowledge, to gain wisdom. And... They're almost, you know, they're isolated. So we're dealing with the individual. I feel like they, they want to, to get out of this energy, really. I feel like they, they gain knowledge. They gain knowledge that they can't get you out of their mind. Give me the hermit. This is yeah, definitely an earth sign here, guys. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is someone, um, you know, you could be married to this person. They could be married to you, but, you know, have children with them or had children with them. But they, they are very focused, you know, very stable. Just gaining wisdom. Tell me about this king of Pentacles. So they're in their head. They're in their head. They can't sleep. They're thinking about you. Y'all walking away. So, Aries, you could have walked away from this person. Or 
or they could have walked away from you. And they're in their head about it. And they have anxiety about it or, you know, some depression. Okay, they, they think about it constantly. They're, you know, trying to gain their wisdom as to the situation here. So, yeah. I feel like there, there has been, someone has walked away here. Someone has walked away. Or you have walked away from this person, Aries, and they are completely in their head about it. So their intentions, what is their intentions? To walk away from you, to continue on and search for their happiness, and I feel like they're very much in their head about it. Yeah, and you have the temperance here. You can be dealing with a Sagittarius, but you don't have to be. Tempering yourself, having patience, being guided, um, you know, following spirit, keeping things balanced. Going within, getting their knowledge, you know, as to what it is that they want to do, Aries. But, you know, they are having sleepless nights when it comes to this, and they could be wanting to give you an apology or some kind of, you know, uh, message of affection or or love here. And they're very much in their head about it. Okay. So should you trust this person? You have the Nine of Pentacles come out. Should you trust this person? You have the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning, a gift, a new start and stability here. Should you trust this person? Should you trust this person? Trust this person always is a use of penalties. Yes, you should. We have the King of Swords. So this is a king. You could be dealing with an, uh, an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This is a smart individual. You could have this in your chart, Aries, or they could, but this is a smart, fair individual they speak truth okay and they could absolutely be coming in to speak a truth on how they feel and want this new beginning with you with the ace of pentacles it's a new beginning and stability yeah and they may want to message you this okay and tell you that they want this, that they've been thinking about it because the King of Swords is very head over heart, okay? And yeah, you can see here that this individual um, is, I feel like they're very grounded and they're going in and they're gaining wisdom and knowledge about the situation. And they're going to come in with truth. So the King of Swords to me is truthful. So yes, you can trust this person. All right, will this... Friendship, relationship, or what have you, benefit you in any way. We have the Six of Cups. So, I mean, I'm sorry, the Five of Cups. So that's just appointment sadness. I feel like someone here misses you, Aries. I do. I just feel like they miss you. There's sadness here because I feel like someone has walked away and, you know, they're having sleepless nights. They can't sleep. They keep thinking about you. They want to come in and make this offer of new stability. And Spirit's saying you can trust them. You have the Five of Cups here, which is, you know, just disappointments. So I feel like this is someone that you've dealt with before you're dealing with now. And it's the Five of Cups here. So what's that about? Is it going to be beneficial? Is it? Is it going to benefit Aries? So we have justice here which is libra so making things balanced being fair you know we have fairness here truth facts and then we have the devil here so capricorn and libra energy so is it going to benefit you I'm going to say yes because I'm not getting 
bad energy from this devil. It could just be that you may have Capricorn in the chart or you do. Um, but I'm getting more of um, just um, not an obsession, just a fixation maybe on making things fair, making things right, making things just in this connection. Okay? So, what's your advice from spirit? Advice from spirit, you have the nine of wands, which is being guarded. This is being precautious. This is watching your back. Right? Look at her. She's like, you know, I got my wands up. I'm not letting them down. So that's what spirit's advice is, you know, keep your guard up when it comes to this individual. Okay, what else? What is this nine of wands? So you may already have your guard up when it comes to this individual. What is the nine of wands, spirit? The will of fortune and the hanged man. So you could be dealing with a fixed sign or Pisces here. Yeah, Spirit is saying when this person comes into your life or comes back into your life, however it applies, um, it, they may cause some confusion. So Spirit is saying just be mindful. Look at everything. Things will go into your favor here. It is fate that this person comes back into your life, okay, or... Um, things get resolved between you and this person. There is, you know, things becoming clear here and gaining en enlightenment. So they're saying keep your guard up until you, you gain all the knowledge that you need and you have that clarity. Yeah, for the Ten of Pentacles. Could even have something to do with money here, this person coming in to make things just when it comes to a foundation here, a home in your finances as well. But Spirit is saying, you know, stand tall and uh, don't just let your guard down. And just trust anybody. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck we have <laughs> the tower. So, uh, Scorpionic energy and Aries. And then beside it, we have the chariot, which is a Cancer energy. Yes. So this is taking charge and taking charge quickly, okay? Um, and I believe this person wants to take charge. They want to take charge quickly. They want to move things fast. You know, the tower moment is tearing something down to rebuild it. Okay, the universe is stepping in and tearing something that was on false foundation down to rebuild it, okay? And I feel like it has something to do either with a home situation, your finances, or something of that nature. But Spirit is saying, be mindful. Look at things from all, all angles. Okay? Think. Keep your guard up. And, yeah. Take control. And move forward. Move forward. I want to see what this devil is, Aries. I'm going to see, what is this devil? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. So somebody, it's a knight here, but they're very passionate, very exciting. Somebody, this could be somebody that's been in and out of your life. Yeah, in and out, and they can't make a decision. They want a passionate, maybe, oh my gosh. Ooh, Aries, somebody thinks that you are just smoking hot. They, they want to give you this wand. They do. They want to give you this wand. They want a passionate new beginning. Okay? They want to give you that love. They want to give you that good, good. They think you are sexy, creative. Um, oh, yeah. They want to. They, yeah. They want to. Yes. Okay? They want to get naked. They want to. I mean, they just do. They want to get naked. And they want to do a lot of things to you. And um, so... Yeah, yeah, very fair in the bedroom, okay, that's cool spirit. Wow, this person is like 
fantasizing about you. This just went to another turn here, my gosh. But can you trust this person? Yes, this person is um, trustworthy. They speak their truth. Um, you have a new beginning on stability here. You have the Ten of Pentacles here going in your favor. Just, you know, keep your guard up. Look at things. Everything look funny. You know, check on out. This could have been somebody that you ghosted or emotionally detached from or, um, you know, they feel like that you've withdrawn from them or what have you. But I'm telling you, Aries, like this person is uh, full of... Uh, I mean, you know, if they've got a penis, it's hard, okay? If they got a vagina, then, you know, it's wet. That's just it. I mean, it's just there's no other. That's just, that's crazy hot right there. Crazy hot for you. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. Hope it wasn't too much. I usually don't talk like that, but if the card, if it's in the cards, it's in the cards. And this person is like, oh, my gosh, that's probably why they can't sleep here. I mean, gosh, they're going to really have to come in soon, or they're just going to, um, I don't know, be walking around and humping, you know, the furniture. I don't know. they got to do something, okay? But, you know, be guarded, think, and um, do what feels good to you. Okay, Aries? Bye.